Hi guys, this is Leo from ThemeChills.com and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the home page for the cherished WordPress theme. So what I've done just so you know is I've installed the plugins that the theme depends on that is the Cherish Toolkit and Jetpack by WordPress. There are instructions in the documentation which will tell you exactly how to go about installing these plugins. It's really straightforward so be sure to check that out. But back to the home page. So what I've done is I've created the home page here and what I'm going to do is just assign it the home page template. So I'm just going to go into edit. Then I'll update that. And just while it's updating, what I'll show you is this is currently the way the home page looks because it's referencing the blog. But what we wanted to get it to look like is similar to the live preview, so it'll be something like this, as you can see. So anyway, let's get back to it. So the home page has now been updated. What I'm going to do is go into settings, reading. Once you are in the reading settings, what we'll need to do is change the way the front page displays. So it's currently selected as your latest post. So what we'll need to do is assign it the home page. Let's do that now. I'll put home page and for post page I'll just assign the blog. And I'll go down, save changes. And there you have it. Now what you'll probably see is that the home page is blank and that's because it is a widgetized home page so that's perfectly normal. As um, you would expect you need to actually add in the widgets for the elements to start to show. So let's go do that now. What we'll do, we'll go into the customizer just because it's a bit more interactive and you can see things happening in real time. Okay, so once we're in the customizer, what we'll start off with is the header image. I'm just going to add that in now. And I'm going to select this one which I've uploaded earlier. I'm going to skip the cropping. Okay, there's the header image. Next I'm going to start adding in the widgets. So homepage header area. I'm going to add the widget and I'm just going to type in theme chills that way I know which ones are the custom widgets. And I'm going to add in the wedding details. Now this comes pre-populated with some default information so you could change that to whatever you like. So we can change it to say Whatever, whatever you obviously need to put in, it'll update in real time. So now that we have that area done, what we'll do is we'll go into the main content area and we'll start adding the widgets there. Once again, theme chills. And I'm going to add in the countdown timer. Uh, for the purposes of the demo, I'm just going to maybe change the date, say, to 5 p.m. Okay, and I'll provide a snippet with the main download which you can actually just replace here and you'll essentially get the same kind of format that you see in the live preview. Next up, I'm going to add in the page tiles and I'm going to put in the title of this section and I'm also going to put in be sure to click on the tiles to get more information. Right, something like that. We're going to close that and as you can see there's that section. Next up, what area did we have? Let me just go check. So we've got the page tiles, let's add in the events section. So the events is here, events, or oh, what did we put in here, let's just copy and paste this, copy that, and I'm going to copy the description as well, just to speed things up. Now 
these sections don't have any content in them yet because nothing has been either published or assigned to them so just bear that in mind that um, the information will start populating once we do that what is the next section let me check alright so it's the Instagram section now with Instagram you'll obviously put your hashtag uh, as a just as a title then the actual hashtag itself would go here hash tag whatever whatever text you want to put in there that will um, it'll grab all the images from Instagram that matches that hashtag and you can go from there and then the client ID that'll be uh, provided to you through Instagram directly there's another video in the documentation that shows you exactly how to do this so be sure to check that out for the moment I'm just going to leave it blank but um, that's pretty much how you'd go about doing that and then what do we have next we have registry and then a footer image so let me add in registry once again it has its own custom title so we'll put in no actually I don't want a title for this one and that's another thing to bear in mind if you don't want a title and you just want a description you can do that as well so because we're going to match it to the live preview it's just a description that I've used okay it looks like it's coming along everything's looking good that's the home page main content area now I want to add in the footer image which we saw earlier so let me do that there it is choose image and there it is okay so we have the footer image registry Instagram events wedding information and the wedding details now I can also show you how to upload a logo which will replace essentially the names that are here and there you have it so starting to look pretty similar as you can see so uh, let's just save and publish this that way we don't lose any of these changes okay let's refresh okay great so I'll just show you how to add in one of the page tiles and obviously the process would be the same as you go along for all the others um, for the other page tiles I mean so the page tiles section references pages so let's go do that now and the pages need to have a featured image that way they display so what's one of the page tiles we have here let's go with RSVP I'll add the page great you don't need to assign a page template because that's um, it'll use the default template and you just set a featured image and we'll just use this one set featured image great I'll publish that and now that's published I'm gonna add one more and we'll call it the our story page our story you can put in the content you want in there but I'm just gonna set a featured image and I'll publish this as well great so now that's published so what you can do is go to the home page and start taking a look as to how the home page is coming along there you go what's great about this is that it uses the masonry grid layout system so it really doesn't matter what dimensions you use the layout will accommodate um, the images that you upload so let's go and add in an event I'll show you how that happens and pretty much you'd go to add events I'm just gonna steal one from the live preview rehearsal dinner and these are categories here 
So I'm just going to create category. Let's add some of the others considering we're here. The celebrations begin. However, I don't want rehearsal dinner to fall under the celebrations begin category, so I'm going to remove that. And then you can add the location of your event in the meta box that's here. I'm going to publish that now. Now that that's published, I'm going to add in one more event. I'm going to put kitchen tea and assign the category that I created earlier to it. So there we go. You can put in information in the post editor area, obviously. And I'm going to assign it to the celebrations begin, as I said, and just going to put the location. And you pretty much just repeat the process for all your events. It's just a matter of what category you want it to fall under. If you need to reorder it, you just change the published dates and it'll um, align itself according to your published dates. So let's go take a look at how events is looking. Okay, there you go. So, as I was saying, if I wanted to put in kitchen tea under the in preparation category, all I would need to do is just uncheck one and check the other, and then that'll automatically assign itself to that category. Next up, Instagram, there's another video for that which you can check out. So let's just do the registry section and the homepage should be ready to go. So it's pretty much just a um, a page. So let me just show you how that's done. So I'll put in registry and I will assign the registry template to it and then I want to add in my images which I'll do with my media library assets. So I'm going to select these four create, insert into page just gonna remove some of this space because it's not really needed obviously it'll be based upon your image size as well, the way you want to arrange it, but um, you have free reign to pretty much use it as you like. The size dimensions of these images are 300 by 300, so just bear that in mind. I'm going to publish this now. And as it's doing that, I'm going to start refreshing the page. And there you go. So now you have the registry sections, which because it's in the post editor, you can just assign a link to it. Um, so wherever you want it to go. And uh, yeah, that's that's all there is to it. As you can see, the setup of the home page for the Cherish theme is really straightforward. You have tons of flexibility. Um, it's pretty much based upon how you want to set it up. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, until next time, thanks.